in this first exercise let's look at installing minikube on our local machine i'm using macbook for my local machine in macbook you have a option to install using brew so if i do brew install cube ctl and minikube it'll install your required software on your machine now on my machine i have this already installed so you'll just see that it is already installed. I have Kubernetes CLI, which is Cube CTL installed version 1.18.3 and Minikube 1.11.0. Now, if I go and run Minikube status, I'll see that everything is stopped. Let's look at how to start the Minikube. To start the Minikube, I can use Minikube start and I can give the option. So I'm giving right now memory as 16 GB and four CPUs. Uh, you have many other options specifically one of the important option is driver so if i do help you can see that there are many options available and one of the important option is a driver you can use virtual box hyperkit uh, anything that you have installed it will auto detect i have hyperkit installed so on my machine is going to use the hyperkit so i say minikube start minus minus memory 16 gb 4 cpu it's starting minikube uh, it is first starting the hypercut vm for me then it will make sure that all the components are installed on my machine i have already started the minikube before so my all components required are downloaded and ready to start however in your case it might take around up to 10 minutes based on your internet speed to get your minikube setup ready first time after that it takes less than a minute to start okay so all the kubernetes components are installed it has also configured your cube ctl to use minikube so right now let's check minikube status first so we see that everything is running now if i go and run cube ctl on fake get context you'll see that i have two context one is minikube and another one that i use is a three node cluster on my machine which is running on the vm virtual machines so minikube is there and currently the my cube ctl is pointing to minikube so if i go cube ctl get nodes minus over y you'll see that i have my minikube one node which is acts as a master as well as your worker node is ready here i can do I, if i go and check my cube config you'll notice that my cube config is automatically configured to point to my mini cube ip which is the mini cube ip here right and all the certificates and everything created and installed on my local machine inside my dot minikube directory in the home folder if i go and check kubectl config view kubectl config view you'll notice that i have two context setup one is minikube and another one is three node cluster that i have few of the handy tools provided by minikube if i want to know ip of minikube i can use minikube ip and this becomes my ip of the vm that is running if I do minikube SSH, I can SSH into my minikube machine. So this is my minikube machine, right? So it is there. Now, if I go and do Docker images here, I can see all the images running there. Exit from there. To connect to Docker daemon running inside minikube, you can use uh, minikube Docker, right? So first, let me show you. I don't have any Docker uh, daemon connected from my local machine i just have my docker installed right now if i do docker images i don't see anything because it's not connected to any docker daemon to connect to that i can use eval minikube docker env and it will have my docker connected to my minikube docker daemon same now all the images that you see here right so now my minikube is up and running to start using 
and deploying Kubernetes objects.